I was born with the curiosity to explore the realms of darkness, to seek out the elusive shadows and question their existence, their never-ending convolution with the light. All things were born from this darkness. Question everything. Find your own truth. Engage all mysteries. Open your mind. And join me on my journey through the darkness. Hi, everyone. Um, today I'm going to be talking about my top five favorite unsolved mysteries, and these are all pretty bizarre, so I'm going to get right into them. Number 5. One of the most famous unsolved mysteries lies in the western part of the North Atlantic Ocean, between Miami, Bermuda, and Puerto Rico, known as the Devil's Triangle, or more commonly, the Bermuda Triangle. The triangle is the reported cause of the disappearance of over 1,000 ships and planes. Here's a list of some of the more mysterious incidents documented. In 1855, the schooner, James B. Chester, was found floating in the ocean. The crew was missing, but there was no sign of a struggle, and the lifeboats were all still in place. In 1972, the Mary Celeste, also known as the Ghost Ship, was found to sail without a single soul on board. There is no explanation that substantiates the Mary Celeste's abandonment, so this remains as one of the greatest mysteries of the ocean. 1918, the USS Cyclops. The disappearance of this naval ship resulted in the single largest loss of life in the history of the U.S. Navy. It went missing without a trace with the crew of 309 sometime after March 4, 1918. 1945, Flight 19 consisted of five U.S. Navy Avenger bombers that disappeared without a trace on December 5th. That same day, two Martin Mariner planes went in search of Flight 19, one of which was never heard from again. 1971, Sting 27, a United States Air Force Phantom Jet, vanished completely without a trace over the Bermuda Triangle. Official reports indicated it may have suffered an impact, but the details were never revealed. These are just some of the many cases documented, but the mysterious history of the Bermuda Triangle traces back long before these incidents. During his first voyage to the New World, Christopher Columbus wrote of seeing a great flame of fire crash into the ocean, and later reported seeing strange dancing lights in the area of the Bermuda Triangle. He also wrote of erratic compass readings in that area. Many ships and planes vanished without a trace, leaving only unanswered questions as to the cause of their disappearances. The Triangle is also the site of numerous UFO sightings, and some even believe that the disappearances are the result of extraterrestrials and some believe that those whom disappeared are trapped in a time rift or parallel universe. While many speculations are made, we may never know the truth to the disappearances or the mystery of the Bermuda Triangle. Number 4. On a remote island located in the Flannan Isles, there remains a 114-year-old mystery that is yet to be solved. The mystery of the Eileen Moore Lighthouse. The lighthouse had a well-known reputation for being haunted, and though used as a grazing field for sheep, no person would dare inhabit the island come darkfall, fearful of the spirits said to haunt the remote spot. The lighthouse was built in 1899 atop the highest location on the island. A year later, tragedy would befall the three lighthouse keepers that maintained the newly built lighthouse. On December 15, 1900, the lighthouse went dark. An investigation of the lighthouse on December 26th showed no sign of the three lighthouse keepers. But where had they gone? The island was very small, and with the exception of the lighthouse keepers and a variety of birds, there were no other inhabitants. It was odd that they would all be missing since there are rules stating that one keeper must remain in the lighthouse at all times. And if some unfortunate accident did occur, where were their bodies? Were they swallowed up by the sea, abducted by UFOs, or was the Loch Ness monster to blame considering it shared the waters the lighthouse was built upon? 
There have been many speculations made about the incident over time, but the mystery still remains just that. Although no trace of the men were ever found, the clues they left behind only lead to more questions. An unfinished mill sat at the table, and the kitchen chair that would have sat the consumer was found toppled over on its side, as if somebody jumped up from their dinner in a panic. One of the weirdest things noted was that the clocks in the lighthouse had all stopped working at the same time. But the chilling entries in the logbook leading up to the day of the three men's disappearance was the most peculiar. The second assistant of the lighthouse, Thomas Marshall, wrote of, quote, "...severe winds, the likes of which I have never seen before in twenty years." Unquote. He also noticed that James Ducott, the principal keeper, had been very quiet, and that the third assistant, William MacArthur, had been crying, which was most peculiar since William MacArthur was a seasoned mariner, and was also known on the Scottish mainland as a tough brawler. He's a guy you didn't want to mess with. So why would he be crying about a storm? Log entries on the 13th of December stated that the storm was still raging, and that all three men had been praying. But why would three experienced lighthouse keepers, safely situated on a brand new lighthouse that was 150 feet above sea level, be praying for a storm to stop? They should have been perfectly safe. Even more peculiar is that there were no reported storms in the area on the 12th, 13th, and 14th of December. In fact, the weather was calm and the storms that were to batter the island didn't hit until December 17th. The final log entry was made on the 15th of December. It simply read... Quote, storm ended, see calm, God is over all, unquote. And that's the day the lighthouse went dark. Number three, the disappearance of Frederick Valentich. This is Delta Sierra Juliet. Is there any known traffic below 5,000 feet? No known traffic. Seems to be a large aircraft below 5,000 feet. What type of aircraft is it? I cannot confirm. It's... Four bright, seems to me like landing lights. The aircraft has just passed over me at at least a thousand feet above. Is there any Air Force aircraft in the vicinity? No known aircraft in the vicinity. Seems to be playing some sort of game. He's flying over me. Not a Sierra Juliet. It's not an aircraft. It's... Can you describe the uh, the aircraft? As it's flying past, it's a wrong shape. I cannot identify it. It has such speed. It's before me right now, Melbourne. How large would the um, the object be? Seems like it's stationary. What it's doing right now is orbiting. The thing is just orbiting on top of me. It's also got a green light and a sort of metallic like. It's shiny on the outside. It's just vanished. That strange aircraft hovering on top of me again. It's hovering, and it's not an aircraft. On October 21st, 1978, 20-year-old Frederick Valentich disappeared while flying over the Bass Strait. His chilling last words, The strange aircraft is hovering above me again. It's not an aircraft. Indicated possible UFO involvement in his disappearance. The radio transmission ended in a metallic static noise, and that was the last anyone heard from Frederick Valentich. That same day, multiple UFO reports were reported all around the globe, many close to where his plane vanished. Number 2. The Dyatlov Pass Incident One of the strangest and most baffling unsolved mysteries occurred on February 2, 1959, where not just one, but nine people met their deaths. The Dyatlov Pass Incident accounts the last days of these men and women who met their deaths by a, quote, unknown compelling force, unquote. The last entries made in their diary speaks of strange orange lights in the sky, and one entry states, From now on, we know the snowmen exist. Probably referring to the abominable snowman, the Yeti, the Russian version of Bigfoot. Many theories have been made about their death, but no one really knows what happened for sure. Here's what we do know. The tent was torn open from the inside out, and all nine ran from their tent in their underwear and sleep attire. Some were wearing socks, but many of the footprints were barefoot. Under the circumstances of the freezing elements and intense snowstorms they encountered that day, what would possess these nine skilled expeditioners to run from the shelter? That's literally running to a death sentence. What would terrify them enough to run blindly and nearly naked in below freezing temperatures where hypothermia causes death in a mere 15 minutes? What had they seen through the tiny holes they had cut into their tent? 
and what terror possessed them to rip their tent apart from the inside out as an obvious attempt at escape from whatever terrified them. They ran scattered into the elements, into the night, and left their clothes and their belongings and their shelter behind. Autopsies on the body showed that the three of the victims had fatal injuries, including skull damage and chest fractures. The force required to cause such damage would have been extremely high, comparing it to the force of a car crash. Major external injuries were found on one of the female victims who was missing her tongue, eyes, part of the lips, as well as facial tissue and a fragment of skull bone. And the most puzzling evidence was that there were large traces of radiation exposure that was found on the victim's clothes. So what killed the nine people atop the Ural Mountains that night? A UFO? The Yeti? Perhaps a government cover-up? Will we ever know the truth? Number one. The biggest mystery of all is experienced every day by each and every one of us. We live our lives exposed to this mystery, yet barely marvel at its magnificence. Life is a delicate and mysterious thing. Our existence on this earth, within this galaxy, inside this universe, still baffles us. Yet we live our lives day by day, sometimes never questioning, never looking to the stars, caught up in the trivial and often mundane systematic and repetitious tasks of day-to-day -day life. Every breath, every heartbeat, the things that go unnoticed, the things that are often overlooked. We are a planet rich in culture and life experience, yet despite the different beliefs and theories, we know little of our origins. Life is the most mysterious event of all, and we are all part of it. Take care of one another and take the time to marvel at your own existence. The cycle of all things suggests that we are only here for a short while, as an individual, as a race, as a planet. And someday, we will die so that something else may be created. Thanks for watching.